Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. Welcome to Unit 56 of Oxford Word Skills, the orange covered book. In this lesson, you and I are going to delve into some stuff related to companies. We're going to talk about companies. So stay with me and let's do this. By the way, do not forget to subscribe and watch the previous videos. Set up in some situations means to start something. In this case that we're talking about companies, it means to start a company or a business. For example, setting up a business could be a risk, fail, not to be able to continue. That's when you fail. We fail sometimes in our endeavors, you know, in our efforts to achieve something. We sometimes fail. As an example, I can say 20% of companies fail within the first 12 months. Goods. This is different from good. If you haven't noticed, you should pay attention to the final S at the end of this word, which changes the meaning. And when you see the word goods, you should know that it's referring to the items that are produced to be sold. Those are goods. Our company intends to sell products and different sorts of goods. Here's an academic word for you, inadequate, which means not enough or not sufficient. That's inadequate. Let me put it inside a sentence for you. When a business fails, it's normally related to inadequate market research. Inadequate market research. That means the type of research that has been done on the market has not been enough. Now, I'm sure that you noticed the word market research. It's when you try to find out what the market needs or what it exactly wants. So you can produce that thing and you can put it out there to be sold. That's market research. We've got the word supplier. Supplier refers to a company that provides goods and other items for another company. For example, you should know about your supplier and also um, the customers. That's supplier stock. This is different from the stock, the word that we use when we're talking about um, shares, you know, like sometimes we say stock market and shares, but this is different. If I'm referring to the stock of a company, it basically means everything that a company has for sale. That's their stock, what they have in stock, what they have available to sell. The word asset. Asset refers to something precious or a value that a company possesses. They have it. Like a factory could be a company's asset. The cars, the machines, everything that you can think of that is valuable and the company has that, that's their asset. Poor management of stock and assets could result in failure. If you're not managing those things in a right way, then your business will fail. It is doomed to fail. Rival. In the world of business, your rival is your competing company. Your competitor, basically, in this business is your rival. And many times we put the word rival before the word company. You should pay attention to the movements of the rival company if you want to succeed or inadequate research could help the rival company succeed. The word employ. If you employ someone, you hire them and you want them to work for you. The noun form of this word is employment. We have employed a lot of new experts to help the company grow. 
That's an example. Growth. This is the process of increasing in size or value. That's growth. I know for a fact that you are aware of the verb form of this word, which is grow. We shouldn't lose sight of our company's growth. We have done a great job over the last year. We've had an exemplary growth over the last 12 months. Struggle. Struggle as a noun refers to a period of action to achieve something that is really difficult. That's a struggle. It's been a struggle for our company to make sure that we can pay all our employees on time. This could be said in a situation where the company is not making enough money, we're not having enough, we're not making any, any profit, and we're on the verge of going broke. And I say, well, that's a struggle for us. It's a tough period. Now, our company in this situation could either survive or die. So if we survive, it means that we manage to stay alive. If our company survives, then we, um, we will probably pass this struggle that we've had. And um, thanks to our suppliers, for example, thanks to the manager's good management strategy, we managed to survive the financial struggle. Now we have the word gain, which is the opposite of lose. If you gain something, you get hold of that thing or you obtain it, you achieve it. For instance, our company can gain um, a share of the market or we can gain a lot of admiration from, you know, like other people that are involved in our business because we have done such a good job. Sometimes, especially when the company is a new one, after some efforts, a couple of years of efforts, we might actually break even. If you break even, if your company breaks even, it means that you're neither making any profit or if your company breaks even, it means that it has neither made profit nor loss. This year, we broke even but we're hoping that we could increase our turnover next year. Turnover is the profit that a company gains. I think we've had this in some of the previous lessons, so keep that in mind. Your company can have a good reputation or a bad one. A reputation is, reputation basically is the ideas and the way that other people feel about your company. For instance, a brand, a good brand can have a very good reputation. People are talking good stuff. They're saying good stuff about that brand. So we can say that this company has a good reputation. We can also use this word to talk about, um, you know, like people. People can also have reputations, different types. Like I have a good reputation. I have a bad reputation. If I do something bad in the society and the people around me think of me as a bad guy, then I can say, I have a bad reputation among people. Let me also give you um, an idiom with this. Sometimes um, I've heard in movies, people say my reputation precedes me. When they enter somewhere and they realize that uh, people already know about them. It's, their, it's the first time that they've been there, but people already know. And they say, oh, your reputation precedes you. It means um, you might not have been here before, but we kind of know about you because you do have a reputation. Uh, now, this could be in a negative light or in a positive light. I mean, um, the reputation could either be bad or good, but people say it anyways. To take over a company, that means to gain control of everything and to start managing it by yourself. That's taking over a, country, a company. Normally when you buy out, this is also another phrase, to buy out the, uh, the other shareholders, the ones who are also in business with you. If you buy them out, then you take over the company. Um, now the noun form of this word is takeover. 
it's uh, like connected to each other, it's linked, so it's not separated anymore. I can say the process of takeover took around two years. I can say um, Elon Musk took over Twitter a couple of ba years back. Now that's what happened. Yeah. You might actually be um, wondering, or your mind might actually wonder, to um, the context of driving you know, like driving a car and trying to pass another car, that one is overtake, to overtake. If you overtake another car, then you pass by. That's also something for consideration. Now, that is pretty much it, guys, for today's lesson. Now, we're going to do some tests to make sure that you understood these words and phrases. Stay with me. This year, we neither made profit nor had any loss. I could say we broke even. If we blank this struggle, I will throw a party. Survive. I need some capital to blank a business. Yes, set up a business. We have been threatened that if we don't stop working, the government will freeze all of our blanks. The things that we have, the things of value that we have. Those are called assets. All right, guys, thank you for being with me and watching this video. Um, I hope you liked it and you learned from it. Please make me happy by probably leaving a comment or liking this video. It's amazing having you around. Take care of yourself and see you again pretty soon.